Stan, when you when you came back in Australia last year and you were sitting in pain and thinking about how hard it would be to get back, was this the kind of match you were looking forward to? But that's uh, kind of emotion. I was uh, uh, practicing to to have back for sure. You know, playing in front of such a crowd, such a big atmosphere, uh, five set match in in Grand Slam. That's the reason why I came back from the from the surgery in the first time. It's because I love I love and enjoy uh, uh, to play in front of people, to play in the biggest tournaments you can play. And today was something uh, really special. Stan, what were you thinking after you hit the last shot? It's very close, and the chair umpire comes down. And during that time, what were you thinking? I was pretty sure it was in. When I hit it, I saw it was on the on the line. I was just hoping that the umpire will confirm it. So I was half a second, not sure. But uh, I was uh, when I saw it was going to say it's in. I was really was uh, was uh, was. Amazing battle today. Uh, today we saw like only uh, one centimeter can change the winner. Uh, um, I think he would have deserved as much as me to win the match to, today. Uh, it's for sure a tough loss for him, but uh, yeah, it was something. Uh, it was a big battle. I'm happy with with everything I've I've done today. Uh, the way I was fighting, the way I was staying staying with him, even if I was tired. The way I was, I start to play a little bit more aggressive, and uh, yeah, it was uh, again uh, the atmosphere on this court is something really special. And today was uh, was really amazing. Congratulations, Stan, on a great yeah. match, great victory today, and making it to the next round. Stefanos was here a few moments ago for his presser. I have two questions for you. The first is, do you think that uh, Hawkeye should be used in Grand Slams, particularly at the uh, Roland Garros? And also, uh, another question has to do with your next round opponent. That's Roger Federer. Can you talk a little bit about someone you've known and played with and, and played uh, against many, many times? I don't know about the Okai on on clay court. Uh, I don't know how accurate is it or not. So that's that's the first question you need to to check uh, the first answer before putting the out on Okai on clay. That's for sure. But yeah, to play a Roger in quarterfinal, it's uh, it's it's something for sure amazing for me. I'm really happy. Uh, I didn't play here for so many years. Is it's still uh, playing so well. He's the best player to ever play this sport, so it's going to be a big challenge. Uh, I didn't beat him many times in all my career, but uh, I did once here, so I still remember that time and was a, was a special day for me. But uh, it's going to be a big challenge. Uh, we'll need to recover from from today's match. It was still a long match. I'm I'm, I'm getting old and older and older, so it's not going to help to be ready for for Tuesday. But uh, Again, I love that kind of challenge, and uh, I'm going to try to do my best to, to play my best tennis. Stan? Uh, two very fast questions. First one, how much are you tied from 1 to 10? And the second one, it looked like you were enjoying staying into the court today. It's something that you felt uh, this way before your surgery. It's something that you're feeling more now, the, the joy of staying between people. No, I don't. I don't enjoy more. I enjoy different way. Also, I think I never experienced that kind of atmosphere here in Paris on the Langland. Always had a lot of support, but uh, I think today was was really special. And the match was was amazing. Five hours match, five sets. The the crowd stayed all the match, and uh, yeah, this this kind of atmosphere for sure. I enjoyed. I enjoy a lot. That's the reason why I still play tennis, uh, and that's the reason why I'm practicing every day to to try to win big matches like that. And uh, so, for sure, I'm, when I'm on the court, I try to enjoy and uh, and remember also everything I've done to be here. Stan, well played. Okay. Since the win, everyone is commenting on how well you have done to recover from the surgery. But can you tell us? how you have got to this point, what has been the commitment and the dedication and the sacrifices that you have made 
to make this great improvement in your game? Well, it's uh, never sacrifice when you love what you're doing. Uh, it's for sure last last uh, last two years were, were tough, but uh, again, I, I've been here before. Uh, I think uh, I think I know exactly what I'm doing. I'm happy with with everything I'm I'm doing with my team, practice practice wise, physical wise. I also know that uh, my level is getting there, and hopefully, I can I can keep going. If it's uh, here, it's perfect. If not, it's it's going to be in the next one. Thanks, Dan. Uh, earlier on, uh, Roger Ferris said that you are living a second life and that you were afraid uh, some time ago that you couldn't come back. Uh, is that true? And uh, the last time you beat him was uh, six, uh, after six defeats, before six defeats here. In Sudan Lang Lane. So you're, you said yeah, you're getting older, but he is older than you. Yeah, but he's, I think, way better than me, also, so <laughs> never forgot that. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, what was the question? <laughs> No, I think, for, yeah, for sure, last time I beat him was here, and how many years was that? And since that, I never beat him again. But uh, I'm not the only one on the tour to not winning too much against him. I think it's, uh, as I say, it's always special to, to play against him. I'm, I'm, I'm really happy so far with everything I've done to this tournament. I know, I know what I can do. I know how well I can play. Hopefully, I can, I can get to my best level uh, against him and uh, put, uh, put a big fight. That's for sure. Uh, every time I step on the court against him, I know it's going to be really difficult. He has, he has something that uh, make him so special as a tennis player, and it's never easy to beat him. But uh, I'm, I'm ready for the challenge, and I'm happy for. T I'm happy to, to, to do everything possible to, to face it. What about second life? I'm a second life in what I'm 34 years old. It's still my first life. I'm happy with it. <laughs> Stan, um, you saved um, eight break points in the final set, and you know you ha it, you had to fight back from a lot. So just how did it feel like trying to stay in the match? And then why were you able to take your first opportunity when it came? Yeah, I've been there many times in the past. I know that. Uh, yeah, we were both tired. It was both important for the fifth set uh, to take the lead. I got a little bit lucky on a few break points. Uh, few, I was really aggressive, playing better, and I knew that as long as uh, I could stay in, in front in the score, that I would get my chance uh, sooner or later. Uh, for me, it was important to to stay strong mentally uh, in those important points, and uh, I'm happy and proud the way I did it. Stan, Roger always uh, talks about the match you played against him here in mm -hmm. 2015, and he always uses the same words by saying, uh, Stan crushed me there. Mm. Do you feel you crushed him back then? <laughs> but I'm happy he said that for once in his life, but uh, <laughs> I think I crushed the tournament that year, so I'm, I'm happy with that memories, but uh, as I say, uh, it didn't happen many times in my life against him. In normally, it's always the opposite. And uh, yeah, uh, not 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 much else to say. You know, is we all we all are happy that he's he's back in on clay court after a few years. Uh, we'll see for me in two days. Thank you very much. We'll take some questions in French now. <laughs> Félicitations Stan. Merci. Tsitsipas qui était assis là il y a quelques instants a déclaré que c'était la première.